Hello all, welcome to this channel CFD Baba. Here we will simulate CFD cases in ANSYS Workbench Fluent. Today we will simulate the case of flow through pipe. It is just a demonstration simulation and the values obtained cannot be compared with the experimental values. We will drag in the fluid flow into our workbench area. ANSYS Workbench is assembly of different tools which are used to do CFT simulations. These can be categorized into pre-processing, solving and post-processing tools. In pre-processing tools, we have geometry and mesh. In the solving tools, we have setup and solution. And in the post-processing tools, we have the results tab. First, we will begin by creating our geometry inside Design Modeler. Another software used to create geometries is Space Clean. We will try that software in some another video. Once we open our design modeler, we have to select XY plane and create a sketch on it. To create the sketch, click on the new sketch button. Once the sketch is created, select the sketch and go inside the sketching tab. Select a circle and draw the circle from center of our coordinate system. Once we draw the circle, we have to give dimensions. Let's give dimension of 0 0.1 meter. To view our circle, click on Fit Window button. To change the dimension position, you can select the move option and move the dimension so that the sketch fits inside the window. Once the sketch is ready, go inside the modeling tab. Select the sketch and click on extrude button. We will extrude this sketch up to 2 meters length. Click on generate. Here we have created geometry for our pipe. But it is not the solid pipe but we have created the fluid domain. Change the type to fluid. We will be assigning fluid properties to our pipe. Next step is to mesh our pipe. We have to open the meshing software inside ANSYS Workbench. We will create a hexahedral mesh for our geometry. To create the mesh, right click on mesh, go in insert method. Select the geometry, click on apply and select the method as tetrahedrons. Click on generate mesh. I will be using default mesh for this simulation as we are doing the simulation only for demonstration purposes. Our flow of water will be going from right direction to left direction. That is in the positive Z direction. So we will give inlet to the face through which the water is going to flow in. Right click on the face and click on create named selection. To select the face, you have to select the face selection filter. The last one is the body selection filter. To select the face, select the face filter. 
click on the inlet face right click and create name selections give name as inlet select the wall you can press the shortcut key N this will open the selection name tab name this as wall select the outlet face press N type the name as outlet you can preview your named selections by clicking on them Once the mesh is created, we will solve this mesh in ANSYS Fluent. Close the Mesh tab, right click on Mesh and click on Update. Once the mesh is updated, right click on Setup and click Edit. Turn on the Double Precision option. I will use Parallel Solving with four processors. I believe my laptop has four processors. Click on OK. Parallel computing will solve your problem faster at the expense of your hardware. Once the mesh is imported, we will assign boundary conditions to all the faces. First, we will turn on the turbulent model by going in the models. Double click on viscous laminar and you can change its properties. We will select K epsilon 2 equation and click on OK. In materials, we will select water as our material. Click on create edit. Click on fluent database. We will import the water from fluent database. Make sure the material type selected is fluid. Go to the bottom and select water liquid click on copy and then close close this tab you can see that water has been imported from the fluent library next we will assign the boundary conditions double click on inlet and assign the velocity of 0.1 meters per second. Make sure the type selected is velocity inlet. Click on outlet. Make sure the type selected is pressure outlet. Double click on methods. We will use coupled method as it solves our simulation faster. Change the turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate schemes to second order of wind scheme. Double click on initialization. I will use standard initialization from inlet and click on initialize once the problem is initialized double click on run calculations i will run 200 iterations for my problem but the solution may get converged before 200 iterations to turn off the convergence go inside monitors and then residual after double clicking on residuals, you will get the window where you can switch off the convergence criteria for all the values. Click on OK. 
This will ensure that our simulation runs for 200 iterations. Double click on Run Calculation and click on Calculate. The residual plot will start getting plotted on the screen. Residual values are nothing but the difference between the calculated values and the actual values. The residual plot is going down means the difference between actual values and our calculated values is decreasing. That is good news for us. Once 200 iterations are completed, you will get calculation complete message. As you can see, the residual plot has become horizontal after 100 iterations. This means that the software is not able to find any difference between the actual values and its calculated values. That means that the software is not really calculating anything and it is just consuming our computational power. So we can stop our simulation at around 120 iterations. Next part is the post processing. That is, we need to see what solution the CFD software has provided to us. Close the Fluent tab and open the Results tab. In the results, I wish to see flow from inlet to outlet. I can visualize the flow by creating a plane in YZ direction. So I will go inside location and click on plane. This will create a new plane. I will select YZ direction. Click on apply. And this automatically creates the plane which will split our geometry in the YZ direction. Now I need to view velocity contour. Let's assign our pipe in the positive Z direction. Click on Contour button. This will create a new contour for us. Click on OK. Select the location as plane 1. Select the variable as velocity. Select the range as local. Click on Apply. Change the number of contours to 110. Go in the render. Turn off lighting. Turn off the plane 1 view. You can see that the flow through pipe has been plotted on the plane 1. Here we can see that from inlet to outlet the flow has developed. At the inlet we have given flow as 0.1 meter per second. But while reaching up to outlet it has increased to 1.3 meters per second. These are just for demonstration purposes. The values cannot be compared with the experimental results. This shows us the creation of boundary layer effect. You can see that at the point where the color is turning red, the boundary layer is getting created. We can analytically calculate the length of boundary layer and also the mass flow rate through inlet and outlet.
that's all for today. This is how we simulate flow through pipe in ANSYS Workbench. If you have liked this video and if you have found it informative, then please share it with your fellow CFD colleagues. We will meet again in a new video with a new simulation. Goodbye children.